Today we're talking about segment swaps and it's not as easy as everybody makes it out to be. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage and you know a lot of you've been asking about segment swaps and i noticed the other day that hp tuners had their guy i can't think of his name do a short clip on instagram probably facebook i don't know i'm not on facebook even though we are go rogue garage has a group on facebook if you haven't checked it out go over and join it's active i drop in every once in a while but there's a lot of good answers over there so make sure and stop by and check it out while you're at it if you haven't subscribed do that hit the thumbs up button all that jazz let's get back to segment swaps so this video that hp tuners puts out it's about a minute and a half, two minutes. And it's like, oh, we're going to do a segment swap. We're going for 4L60 to a 4L80. You do this, 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 you're done. It's not that easy. Listen, and there's a couple very important reasons why it's not that easy. And so let's jump over. Let's take a look at the, the editor here. Actually, there I've got this open here. Okay, so we got the editor. The big thing that you've got to be aware of is your operating system. To do a segment swap, you have to have the same operating system on the file that you're using to compare. They act like, oh, you open up any compare file that has a 4L80 in the PCM and you can just swap those segments. No, 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 no. So for one, the operating system from the get-go has to have had a version that supported things like 4L80 or flex fuel or drive-by wire. Those things, if that PCM never had that, you're not going to be able to do the segment swap. And in fact, if we go over to HP Tuner's website, this is from 2014. As previously stated, the file needs to have the same operating system ID as the two file. The from has to have the same ID from the two file. So if we go in and say this is a 2001 Silverado 5.3 that has a 4L60, yeah, and even though it has that 4L80 dropdown, doesn't mean it's going to work. If we do a compare and open up, so let's go down here, ba, 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 2001 Silverado 6 liter, and you can see this is a 4L80 file. Well, this one works because it's the same OS. <laughs> In this case, it is that easy. So... But at the same time, if I were to go down here and say I found a Suburban with flex fuel, it's not going to work. It's not the same operating system. Uh, I know if we go and look at what just happened. We go and look at Silverado 6, 2000 Silverado 6, 4L80. It's not going to work. So you got to be very specific whenever you find your files that your operating system numbers are the same. This is the second problem that we're going to have. So we go over to the Tune repository. We put in 2001 Chevy Silverado. We're looking for something that we know is probably going to have the 4L80. In this case, a 6 liter. We go download this Tune file. And here's the, here's the problem. You don't know if this file is going to work. So we save it. We go back over. Open up our compare. Where's my downloads at? And until we go here and segment swapper is not grayed out, we don't know if it's going to work. If you go to Google and you search for a 122.08322 HPT file because that's the OS of the ECU that we're trying to, or the PCM that we're trying to swap in, you're going to get a whole bunch of links. None of them are going to have links to the files that you need. But... But you might be able to use this information to find something in the Tune repository that has it. You might find something that says, oh, hey, for this OS to have this feature set, go look for a 2001 6 liter Silverado, and it's probably going to have it. So to finish up, since we're doing a transmission swap, we want to copy over to transmission, transmission diagnostics, uh, you know, import them, save it as a new file. This I'm not licensed right now, and you're good to go. So hopefully that clears up some of the air on doing segment swaps because a lot of stuff out there makes it easy. They've already got the right files opened up. Finding the correct file is 
90% of the battle. It's not even half the battle. G.I. Joe can't even step up in this house and say it's half the battle. No, it is 90% of the battle finding the right file from the get-go. It's going to take some legwork. You're going to have to do some searching on Google. And don't be surprised if you find out you've got an OS that doesn't support what you want to do. If that ends up being the case, you're going to have to go over to a different OS. Either buy the PCM that has that OS on it. That's probably your best bet. Hit up eBay. There's a lot of people on eBay that you can specify what OS that you want on there. Say, if you're working on a 2001 and you got a 5.3, but you want to add flex fuel and you want to add uh, a 4L80, a lot of those guys over there will flash in the file that you're looking for and save you a lot of headache. And it's a lot cheaper than having to do all this like work yourself. But just be aware, it takes a little research. It's not that easy. Listen, I want to thank you guys for stopping by the garage. As always, remember, ABT, Always be tuning.